Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few weeks ago I presented you a video where I counted down the top 10 books that I wish Marvel would release in their True Believers or Facsimile reprint line. At that time I promised you a DC Comics version of that list, which is what I'm bringing you today. My list is not numerical, but rather presented to you alphabetically. I essentially sat down and just wrote a list out of books that I most would like to see in a single edition form if I couldn't have the originals at least in a reprint form. I noticed upon reviewing my list as you'll see there's a lot of Silver Age in this list. DC Silver Age stories maybe aren't necessarily the most entertaining to read but man do they include a lot of keys. So let's get our list started. Action Comics 252 from 1959 features, obviously, by the cover, you can see the first appearance of Supergirl. Supergirl takes the Linda Lee identity, keeping with the double L theme of Superman. But what you might not know, this book is also a key for being the first appearance of Metallo. There are two different stories in this book. One includes the key first appearance of Metallo, and the other the key first appearance of Supergirl. So Action Comics 252 is what we're kicking our list off with. That's from 1959. You'll end up seeing that we're bookmarking our list. The first and the last book that I bring you are the two oldest that you'll find in my list. Up next in our list is Batman Family number one. Just for the cover alone, this book is going to make the list for me. Batman Family only ran 20 issues of its own before it was folded into the Detective Comics line. I myself am trying to complete all 20 of those issues as well as the Batman Family appearances in the Detective Comics line. Issue number one is a book I don't have yet and I think would be a great candidate for a reprint appearance in DC's line. They weren't called the Teen Titans then, but the first time that Kid Flash, Aqualad, and Robin teamed up in Brave and the Bold 54 really is the first appearance of the Teen Titans. I myself am lucky to own the second appearance of the team, which I believe is Brave and the Bold 60, also first down at Troy's Wonder Girl. But having a single floppy of Brave and the Bold 54 would be an awesome thing for my collection, even if it is in a reprint form. Here's one that might surprise you that's on my list. Doom Patrol 121. This 1968 comic book features the deaths, as I say in quotation marks, of the Doom Patrol. It also includes an appeal from the editor in the letters column to keep buying Doom Patrol comic books. This title lasted three more issues, but the, all three of those were reprints before it was finally officially canceled. I knew I wanted to include a Green Lantern comic book in my list, I decided on issue number 16 because I like Star Sapphire. I think that's an awesome cover as well. So Green Lantern Volume 2, number 16, is our halfway point in our list. Usually on my videos, you see me do shoutouts to new subscribers, either in the beginning or at the end of my videos. We're changing it up a little bit today and doing it right now. Let's salute GP Venom. Flix and Comics, that's F-L-I-X and C-O-M-I-X. Jojo, thank you so much for being a new and recent subscriber. As well as Superpower Reviews. Kevin, you're an amazing artist. I've enjoyed watching you in some of the chats recently too. Thanks for subscribing. And Bearded Geek Reviews. Check out these creators' YouTube channels and support what they're bringing to the community. We'll have more news about my channel at the end of this video. Right now we're back into the list. I wanted a Hawkman in my top 10 list. I actually don't own any Hawkman comic books from the Silver Age. That's something I would like to change. And I kept jumping between issue number one and issue number four. Issue number four is the key because it's the first appearance of Zatanna. But I thought, you know, in the long run, let's just start at the beginning. And Hawkman number one makes my list of the most wanted DC titles I would like to see reprinted individually, either in their facsimile, Giants, or Dollar Comics line. This next book, Joker number 10, was supposed to be originally published individually in 1976, but it didn't see the light of day until 2019. This unpublished story is the first of a three-parter 
featuring the JLA and actually ends on a cliffhanger. It didn't get finally published until the Bronze Age Joker Omnibus from 2019. It also is available individually, digitally, but it's never had its own individual single floppy issue. As a matter of fact, for a time, folks at DC said that this issue was never completed and didn't exist, but that wasn't true. The original art was found. They colored it up and included it in the omnibus, which I think is awesome. Even though we didn't get the complete realization of how the story played out, still to have available after all these years and being considered lost is an awesome thing. And I think it needs its own physical copy reprint at some point too. I bet you're not surprised that there's a Justice League comic book in my list. How about Justice League number one? Although if you're looking at the cover of that book, you don't see it indicated that it's issue number one on the cover. For some odd reason, the number, the numerical number of one, wasn't included on the original cover. Although the inside does indicate that it's Justice League number one. First appearance of Despero from 1960. And the only title to make two appearances on my list is from three years later, 1963's Justice League number 21. This was the first of what for a long time became the annual JLA JSA team ups. It also expands on the multiverse concept of the DC universe. Hal Jordan meets Alan Scott for the very first time in this issue, as well as Ray Palmer and Al Pratt meeting for the first time. I certainly would love to own an original of this as a matter of fact, an original of all of the books that I'm presenting on my list. But until then, until it's financially possible, I think a reprint facsimile or giant size reprint edition of Justice League 21 would suffice. And that brings us to the end of the list and the oldest book on my list. You know I'm a Wonder Woman fan. And from 1958, Wonder Woman Volume 1, number 98 makes the cut. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor, Queen Hippolyta. We also see Wonder Woman gliding on air currents and that concept used for the very first time in this issue. I think it's a nice cover there with Wonder Woman battling Wonder Woman, which is something we've actually seen on several other different Wonder Woman titles. But Wonder Woman 98 rounding out my top 10 list of books that I wish DC would reprint as floppies, individual single issues in facsimiles, giants, or dollar comics line. Now, a lot of these books have been released as part of collections, but my list obviously is books that I like to see singly re-released. Thanks for joining me again. Huge news for my channel. I'm so excited we've hit 200 subscribers. Obviously, you know I can't do it without you. And your subscription, your kind words mean the world to me. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you would consider showing support to the channel by giving me a subscription. You can click the notification bell to know when new content is added to this channel. Leave me a comment. Do you own the originals of any of these books? Are any of these books books that you're chasing? What books, even if they're from different eras, would you like to see DC reprint singly in their facsimiles, giants, or dollar comics reprint line? Let me know. Let's discuss it in the comments below. Thanks again for spending some time on my channel. I hope you enjoyed my video today, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.